Now there is a question asked in journal bearing regarding the effect of various parameters on the performance of journal bearing. Many of the university exams, the question is asked, like what is the effect of minimum oil film thickness on the performance of journal bearing? What is the effect of bearing pressure? What is the effect of L by D ratio on the performance of journal bearing? So let's start. We are going to proceed this way that we'll see that if we select proper values of certain parameters like L by D ratio, clearance, radial clearance or diametral clearance, C by D ratio, that is the diametral clearance ratio, unit bearing pressure, minimum oil film thickness. If the, these values are properly selected, then how it will affect the performance of the journal bearing? That's what we are going to find out. Let's start with the L by D ratio, the length of the bearing to the diameter of the journal ratio. It affects the performance of the bearing. Certainly it affects the performance of the bearing because you'll notice that as the ratio increases, the average pressure of the fluid film increases. And as smaller the L by D ratio is used, the temperature rise of the lubricating oil will be high. So how you should select the L by D ratio? The current practice is, since you know that if you increase the ratio, then also the pressure increases. If you reduce the ratio, the temperature rise of lubricating oil is increased. So then the current practice is that select or use the L by D ratio as one. And then to increase this ratio, if boundary lubrication is likely to occur, means if the metal to metal contact is observed, then slightly increase this L by D ratio from one. And to decrease it for full film lubrication or high temperature. So if the boundary lubrication is occurring, increase it. But if there is a full film lubrication or high temperature is observed, decrease it. How much you should keep L by D ratio? The ratio should be between 0 0.5 to 2. Let's move ahead. L by D ratio from the standpoint of side leakage, QS, we have done these parameters in Raymond D. Boyd method. We have seen these parameters. We have also done numericals on this. So the, from the standpoint of side leakage, a bearing with large L by D ratio is preferable. If you are keeping side leakage in mind, then large L by D ratio is preferable. But if you consider the space requirements, manufacturing tolerances and deflection of the shaft, it's better to use a short bearing. The value of L by D may be taken one to two for general industrial machinery. In crankshaft bearings, the L by D ratio is less than one. So guys, you'll see in the design data books based on application for centrifugal compressors, what is the L by D ratio for general machinery, L by D ratio. This table is given. So L by D ratio is chosen as per application as well. This L by D ratio is called as aspect ratio. Many of the universities, it's not written L by D ratio. It said that what is the aspect ratio? Then this L by D ratio is the aspect ratio. Moving ahead, what effect the clearance will have on the performance of hydrodynamic journal bearing? As in, if the clearance is more or clearance is less, how it will affect the hydrodynamic bearing? Then see, the radial clearance should be small. Why? Because it provides necessary velocity gradient. We have done the numericals. This requires costly finishing operations. Though we keep the radial clearance, what is radial clearance? Though we keep the radius of the bearing minus radius of the journal or shaft, this radial clearance, though we keep small, if we keep small, 
obviously the fine finishing operations will be required which will be more costly you will require rigid mounting of the bearing assembly also you will require a clean lubricating oil and these all things are going to increase your initial and running cost of the hydrodynamic bearing and we talked about what if the radial clearance is small but increase in radial clearance will decrease the load carrying capacity and it will increase the flow rate it will decrease the load carrying capacity and it is going to increase the flow rate so guys how these parameters affect the journal bearing that is what we are discussing we have seen these numericals of mackey's equation this equation is mackey's equation in this d by c actually it is the c by d ratio which is the diametral clearance ratio so if i increase or decrease this diametral clearance ratio obviously it is going to affect the coefficient of friction so, since it is mackey's equation it is written mu but if it was raymond de boyd method the coefficient of friction would have written f you can see my videos you will come to know so coefficient of friction will be affected by increasing or reducing the c by d ratio which is your diametral clearance ratio because in mackey's equation diametral clearance ratio is used so usually this table you will find out that for a particular machinery like for centrifugal pumps the machinery uh, the uh, c by d ratio is 0.01 013 same way for other machinery is also in design data book you will be able to find out the values So, like I said, C by D ratio will obviously affect the value of coefficient of friction. That's why it needs to be chosen properly. Moving ahead, pressure, pressure, load upon area, radial load upon area. It's written here, radial load per unit projected area. depends upon the bearing material what kind of bearing material you are using what is the operating temperature usually goes till 60 degrees c 55 to 60 degrees c what is the nature and frequency of the load and what are the service conditions right so permissible value of this bearing pressure depends upon bearing material operating temperature natural uh, sorry nature and frequency of load and service conditions the value of this pressure value of pressure based on past experience and based on the application this value is chosen you cannot randomly choose it you'll have to see where which application it is like centrifugal pumps or where is it used and on basis of the past experiences this value of bearing pressure is selected hence the value of bearing pressure is different for different bearing materials value of bearing pressure is different for different bearing materials whether you are using babbit whether you are using cast iron what kind of material of bearing you are using based on that this unit bearing pressure is being chosen still we we'll discuss pressure pressure development in oil film you can see this radial pressure distribution and axial pressure distribution is shown so pressure development in oil film the radial and axial pressure distribution in oil film this much pressure is being generated that is what is understood when you look after the analysis of hydrodynamic lubrication 
so when more fluid is pushed into this wedge shaped when more fluid is pushed into this wedge shaped region pressure is generated into the system less fluid is pushed lesser the pressure more fluid is pushed more pressure is generated in this system of hydrodynamic lubrication minimum oil film thickness in the university exam the question was very specifically asked how the minimum oil film thickness is going to affect the performance of the hydrodynamic bearings see minimum oil film thickness governs the load carrying capacity and frictional loss frictional loss of bearing so minimum oil film thickness denotes ho ho this depends on surface finish viscosity of lubricating oil and nature of load so if the surface finish is poor lubricating oil viscosity is less very high load is there obviously metal to metal contact will occur because ho will not sustain minimum oil film thickness will not sustain in that case so you should avoid the less minimum oil film thickness because low limit of ho will cause metal to metal contact friction wear tear heat so how much you should select ho should be 0.0002 into r the radius of the journal so we discussed today what is the effect of various parameters like minimum oil film thickness unit bearing pressure l by d ratio aspect ratio c by d ratio clearance on the performance of the hydrodynamic bearings thank you